When I work on MATLAB projects, I tend to keep all the scripts and functions and data files all in one folder, and I tend not to add that folder to my path. So I will work on that folder for a while, updating my code, then shut down MATLAB. And then sometime later, I'll go back to MATLAB. And if I hadn't said anything special in my startup.m file, MATLAB would set the initial working folder to my documents folder and not where I was before. I would then have to navigate back to where I was previously. In release 2014b, there's a nice new simple feature that sets MATLAB's initial working folder to the previous session folder. Go to Preferences, choose General. Here we can choose Set Initial Working Folder to Last Working Folder from Previous MATLAB Session. And now when I shut down MATLAB and start up MATLAB again, it starts off in the folder I was previously in. One caveat with that feature is that it overwrites the starting folder of MATLAB at the command line. So if you are, for example, starting MATLAB from Windows Task Manager and you're using the dash R option with a, a MATLAB a file name to run a program, and you're also specifying a start folder, then that start folder will get overwritten by this feature. So therefore, if you want to do that, you have to make sure that the functions that you're specifying with a dash R option are on your path.